live on YouTube. Well, hello, welcome to this live cast. I've just started. I know this is Saturday morning in Austin. Uh, here on YouTube, it time is now 9.33 a.m. and we are live. Um, nobody's on YouTube yet. Nobody's on IG yet. So I'm just going to hang out and wait a little. If you're on the chat room, say hi. Tell us where you're from and what time is it at your place. Just waiting for people to come in. All right, so we are talking about, you know, the suggested topic is um, magic money, more well, money magic, um, a topic that everybody likes and something that everybody wants more. So if you're on the stream right now, I don't see anybody here so far. If you're on the stream right now, feel free to say hi. Um, I know this is probably Saturday night. This is Saturday night in a lot of places. So maybe a lot of people are still out there partying and hopefully some people will join us soon. Hey, hello, Mr. Mr. SK, how are you? Welcome to the stream. So uh, we are live on both IG and YouTube. Uh, we are just giving our own experiences, sharing stories. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Or if you have any comment, or if you don't want to ask a question, you can just say something and then put a question mark in behind and then I'll read out loud and uh, I'll reply to it. Or somebody else in the live stream would uh, share their wisdom along. So thank you for joining and just waiting for more people to come on. So I guess the topic for today will be uh, money spell or money magic. It is something that uh, on uh, on the mind of a lot of people. I just learned that last night's Mega Million jackpot had no winner. So the next mega million jackpot here in the US will be $875 million. So, you know, exciting time to be practicing magic. Oh, hello, YouTube. Uh, we have the Jewel Texan here with us. Hello. Duke Boone was the first demon I summoned. She immediately led me to King Paimon. Oh, perfect. Tell us about your experience with. Uh, either Boon or Paimon. The Jewel Texan said, but I haven't made any real money since I summoned either of them. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing something wrong. So uh, what was it that you wish for? How long ago was the, uh, was the first time you did the ritual? 260 days ago, 263 days ago, I summoned King Paimon, said the Jewel Dixon. 243 days. Um, how did it go? And have you been working with him since, or was it just that one ritual and then you haven't done anything so far? And, you know, is there a plan or something? The ritual was amazing. Oh, perfect. Tell us what happened. I mean, I had Boone. I've been working with Boone for a long time now, and she had to be very kind to me. I've worked with Paimon before, and he had been very generous as well. Um, So when it comes to money spell, right, a lot of people would believe that, I'm not saying that's you, uh, Mr. Or Ms. Dixon, um, but a lot of people made the mistake that 
uh, they could just do the ritual and then money will come. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open up avenues for the spirits to intervene, right? So, for example, you know, if somebody's working as a cashier at McDonald's, um, nothing wrong with that, very hardworking person and admirable job, but uh, the chances is he or her who works at that position um, would have very little opportunity to receive the blessings and money, right? So what you want to do is, hey, hello, DSDCTC from Instagram. Thank you for joining. It's great to see you again. Um, so like for that person who works at McDonald's, although, you know, it's a hardworking person and nothing wrong with working at McDonald's, but um, your chances of receiving a massive amount of money would be would be slim, right? And if the spirits saw that there's not much room for them to intervene, you know, they are just going to uh, leave you alone for a while. And uh, what you need to do is you need to kind of like transform your life and, you know, see if you can take classes on like accounting or, or maybe work at McDonald's for like eight hours a day and then start a second job um, and then start slowly move up the chain, right? The spirits will be there uh, to intervene with an invisible hand, right? You know, maybe you work at night job and then, you know, it could go through a few devolutions, you know, the night job you get fired and you get another night job and then, and then you go to school and then you learn a new skill and then, and then, as this evolution happens, and the spirit helping you along day by day, step by step, um, a year or two from then on, you find that your financial situation will uh, be much more improved. So, the Drew Dixon said on YouTube, um, I basically transcended to a whole other dimension of darkness, and I felt his heart and love and everything he wanted. Uh, he wanted for an offering, then it ended. Basically, I have seen everything come to fruition, come to fruition through my heart. The George Dixon said, he helped me discover entrepreneurship, so I've been trying to start my clothing brand, music, and everything else since I summoned him and nothing worked, LOL. I have tried everything to make more money. So this is a good start, Dejour, uh, Dixon. Um, entrepreneurship is definitely the way to go. At least, you know, um, do something that would open up the possibility of them giving you more money, right? So. You know, take this for example, you know, their intervention will be like bringing you an investor or um, connecting with you, somebody of influence or or a customer will come in to buy one or two small things and then they were really impressed with your passion and your creativity. And then they know somebody who knows somebody. And then next thing you know, you know, they bring their family to your store and things like that. Those are the kind of pathway um, I have witnessed, I've noticed, and I've observed um, riches being manifested, right? Um, the George Texan said, I wasn't ready back then. I am now and is still not working. Like I even got visions of everything working and it's not happening in the physical clothing brand. Well, I would suggest you or or if I were in your situation, I would look around uh, and to see what kind of opportunities are available. Um, you know, things you can do to help your clothing band, brand 
or see if other like associated opportunities are also available with the clothing brands, right? Um, I'm willing to venture to say that most of the first ideas doesn't work out. And manifestation almost always does not happen the way you want it to be, right? Hey, okay, you're back. Give me a second, let me finish reading Dejour's comments, right? It's yours that fitness brand, personal training, life insurance, my own music modeling. I've tried all these and nobody messed with me. So I'm confused at hell as hell. I feel like I've gotten so much stronger and better, more improved, and that as I've I'm too high up to share my talent and gifts with anybody. So that is a good observation, Dejour. Um, how would you suggest to to remedy that? Dejour said, "Cause now I do Muay Thai, and it's the only thing to make me feel complete. Mixed martial arts. Hey, maybe that's a." Uh, Maybe that's the manifestation, right? How how do you see mixed martial arts could help you with your business and financially? So let's switch to the OK. OK, OK is the handle of somebody on YouTube. In case you're on Instagram wondering why I kept saying OK. Hello, OK. Yes, of course you can ask the questions. From now on, just ask the question, right? You don't have to say, can I ask a question? That way I don't have to. Uh, Say it out twice. They drew Dixon said, I can't pay for my training right now. Um what, what do you think you can do right now? I'm sure Boone and Paimon had left a lot of clues in your life right now. I can't, I can't speak for them and I can't speak for you, right? Because I'm not in your in your life or in your shoes. Oh, hello, Magic Boy HK. How are you? Thanks for joining. I know you're on vacation, so it's very special to see you here. So, Lee Jordan said, I train for free, but it makes me feel bad that I can't afford to pay the man. He's letting me work out for free. Oh, so, you know, maybe that is a sign for something. Is there some way, some other ways you can like make money off mixed martial arts training or tie that with your, with your diverse um, interest in entrepreneurship, your different stores, maybe you can promote it or make YouTube videos or or make a training video of like of your journey as a mixed martial arts uh, athlete, you know, or fighter. I don't know what is your aspiration. So okay, on YouTube, ask. So I have been working with like twenty plus demons, love, war, etc all kind of demons alongside with some horror entities. I've had a very great improvement. However, I'm currently working on building an aura that suits me more. So I would like to ask you to like use your third eye if possible and kind of tell me what kind of shade of red do you get when you try to see which shade of red energy suits me. I always had bloody and dark red shades with different vibrations if it helps. Bright, deep, brownish, blood red, etc. Um, on IG, hello Tomato Rings, how are you? Thank you for joining the stream. Always good to hear from you. Um, so we are also reading of comments on YouTube right now. Uh, let me just reread OK's comment. So, so what is the question? So, I think in the first chat, 
a long time ago, like a few weeks ago, we've talked, and we talk about your brownish reddish aura. And and uh, and do you think that that the color of the aura actually matters? What is it that you try to accomplish with the uh, with working with these spirits? Okay, on YouTube said, trying to align energies that suits me and my progress. Well, how does that manifest in real life? Let's pretend all your energies is aligned and your aura is the perfect color, right? How do you see your life changed with this alignment? The George Dixon said, everything is currently dying around me. Like my car battery is dead. My car is severely damaged. I have faced them near all type of black magic. And won't I haven't had anything, anybody physically try to kill. Um, so so let's let's um DJ Dixon said I'm in hotel for free, but it is a 10% chance of me being able to leave here. Well, I just relationships are dead. Well, I can see you are in a difficult position, DJ. Um I will continue, you know. working with the energy that you had and 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 I mean you know it sounds like you're in a very difficult position um, I think these are all kind of chaos that tries to lift you out of energy funk from before I'm trying to figure out why I am still alive. Oh, come on, man. I think we need you to, first, I need you to start with a more positive attitude, right? I need you to start noticing and pay attention to what you have and the building blocks that is available for you to build a good life, right? I mean, you seem like an intelligent person. You sound like you have started a lot of businesses out of nothing, and those are good. And it sounded like you are in good physical condition, you know. Some of us have difficulty just getting up and walking around, right? So you have a lot of good things going on for you. If you so you, does everybody know the idea of training your demons, right? Like if you give attention and give your energy, if your mental energy to things, those things we keep amplifying and amplifying, and amplifying, right? And the talk that you gave me, or I understand you are just trying to relieve some of your pain. And, and it's fine that, you know, you trust us enough to share what's going on in your, in your life, right? But what I need you to do is to kind of like turn your energy around, right? Just direct your energy. And you are the only person who can do this, right? No, no spirit's going to do it for you. I can't do it for you. Reiki teachers can't do it for you. Your martial art teacher cannot do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Go and take an assessment of all the building blocks you have in your life. And I'm sure there are lots. You just have to pay closer attention to it. And the spirit, Paimon and Boon, is going to help you, okay? Then just day by day, take baby step and baby step, right? And just work your way out of this grudge, right? Give yourself more positive energy each day. And with each little um, win that you have in your everyday life, you build a momentum, right? And a lot of people can turn their life around in a very short succession, right? They go out and, you know, they, I, I, I don't know what situation you're in and where you are, you know, maybe they got a job 
or maybe they meet somebody or they go to a entrepreneurship meeting or like a meetup and they meet somebody and then the idea flies off. Or if they host a live stream on YouTube, I've seen those a lot or on Twitch and they got famous in a few weeks with a viral video, you know. I've, you just need to look for those opportunities, Dejor. And thank you for sharing um, um, your situation right now. Hello, Brenda Sims from Singapore. How are you? Um, so let's go back to OK. So OK from YouTube said, if I had the perfect aura, I think I would be really aggressive and ruthless but also very dynamic and very intense, but also very overpowering. I think I would be extremely determined and stubborn and basically a beast, but controlled. I think I would also better at analyzing and overall I would be able to embrace my demonic nature better. At OK said to Detroit Dixon, if you need any aura cleansing, I'm able to send some warlike spirit I'm working with to help uplift you and clean any negative attachment from you. Just ask for it and I will help you out. The Joe Dexon replied, I need all the help I can to get so appreciated. Yeah, so like earlier I was thinking, you know, Mr. OK and uh, the Joe Dexon, the two of you actually have a lot in common. Um, I didn't want to say anything, but now that you've said it and did you agree, so, you know, I concur. Um, but, okay, I would like you to maybe ground your ideas a little. Um, how would you use that in your word, aggressive and ruthless energy in real life? Like, are you trying to start a company or are you working in a competitive field? Or, uh, you know, maybe talk it out a little bit, like ground your energy. So let's check out YouTube quickly. Oh, hey, uh, Achu Bukaka, how are you? Always good to hear from old friends. And hello, Lifestyle Culture, how are you on IG? So if you're just joining us on IG, we are simultaneously live streaming on IG and YouTube. So if you hear me reading off comments um, that you don't see on your IG screen right now, that is because I'm reading it off YouTube. Um, so Brenda again, hello, how are you from Singapore? Very nice weather out there. I wish I'm there. Nice food, good people, beautiful city. I wish I'm in Singapore. Hello, Saxon. Oh, wow, have been watching without saying hi. Hello, everybody. Hello, Saxon. Hey, Saxon, are you still in Thailand? You're still in Thailand, right? I just saw your picture. Dude, you are, you are like the luckiest guy in the world, man. Like, everybody wants to be more like you. Brenda is saying, where is everybody based in? Good question. Um, I'm in Boston right now. Dijor said he or she is in New Orleans currently. Um, that's perfect. We have, I know Saxon is in Thailand. Lucky bastard. I don't how many months of vacation is he on, right? Like that guy is always on vacation. I, I have so much I want to be like more like him. Um OK is saying competitive field, kickboxing, etc. Overall empowering myself. If that makes sense. Did you I sent you over a hundred and hundred and fifty warlike spirits? They are Mongol ones. I want you to make sure to accept them, though inside you, your field, by having positive attitude towards them instead of being fearful and paranoid. That's good advice, okay? Hey, so the two of you are, yeah, actually are doing kickboxings, right? So I think the two of you will have a lot of things in common and a uh, lot to talk about. Brenda Sim said, all these are very, very new to me. I'm just listening and understanding the magic world. You're welcome to uh, 
to jump in and share your own experience anytime, Brenda. Your experience is as valuable as anybody else are. And once again, welcome to our community. The George said, I've been homeless for eight months and been doing all the Kundalini yoga to get this far, to get some free help so I'm strong enough to handle them. That's perfect. It sounded like you have the spirit had been preparing you for these moments, did you? Kind of like, you know, SEAL team training, right? What well, This is the third week. Is They call them the hell week. They uh, make sure the the sailors, the candidates, not sleep for a whole week and see how they will react, mate. Did you said, I listen to a little of audio every single day. Oh, thank you for listening. I hope they have provided you with some inspiration. Okay, in YouTube said, I believe the jaw is being tested because I don't know if you sense it too, but I got some underworld vibes as if someone is either casting stuff on him or some underworld entity that has a connection. Yeah, that is true. I don't think somebody is trying to hurt the juror. I think this is more like a test for him. Um, and I think the juror is strong enough to handle it, right? He's just he's just so close to to seeing the light right now. He just needs to uh you know adjust where he focuses the energy. And I am very confident that um good things are coming his way. The George said, yes, that's every single day thing. Oh, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to audio. Um, I'll try to put something new out soon. Um, I've just been really busy with my store and everything. So I've always wanted to put more stuff out on this channel. And uh, and hopefully um, I will have more free time to do so. But thank you so much for uh, your patronage. Um, Okay, sir, perhaps trying to make him tougher. Yes, that is true. So sometimes the spirits, they are not just like handing stuff to you, right? They want a partner to grow with. They want you to do the plans and be the physical manifestation on them on earth. And they put you in these tests to strengthen you up so that you can represent them well in the future, right? So I think that is a good omen for a lot of riches coming your way. Okay, on YouTube said, I think lots of spirit guides are underworld connected and they seemed really strong and serious, if that makes sense. They seem harsh to me. That makes sense, okay. Uh, Dejour Dixon said, Yesterday and this morning was just extremely tough because I was excited about getting some news about this opportunity after my birthday, and it didn't work out. You're right, okay, they're extremely harsh. That's true, but they also won't send you a task that you cannot handle, right? Um, you know, like what Nietzsche said, whatever doesn't kill you only make you stronger. And... And I know I can tell you a very strong person, both physically and mentally, and they are just pushing your envelope to get the best out of you right now. Brenda Sim from Singapore said, I have no experience with magic. I just have friends that are doing magic. I am interested to know more about it for myself and protection for my family and I. Well, you're in the right place, Brenda. Um, some of, we are all um, at different um, points in our path. And hopefully by by participating in this group, you can see uh, where everybody is or where your peers are in their magical journey, right? So I think Dijor and OK here, are a little bit further along. Um, I can tell they have already worked with spiritual guides. They have done their rituals and they're just sharing with us um, the experience as somebody who regularly practices it about a year or two into their journey, right? 
And I can tell Mr. or Miss OK and DeJoy Dixon, they are very heavily into the demon side. And if you don't want to do work with demons, you are you can also work with other entities like angels and, and other deities, right? Um, and those will yield uh, different kind of results, um, a bit more, um, less chaos, should I say, less chaotic than what uh, our friends here is, are, are experiencing. And OK on YouTube said, I know from experience because I have had a big amount of demons getting me purposely in a violent and unfair situation so I could get more tough and demonic since I was a child. Excuse me. OK said that a revenge demon was sending me that energy back then because he wanted to boost me up again. Duke Barbados. DeJore Dixon said, King Paimon said there isn't a situation I can't get out of. That is very true. And I think that's what Paimon is uh, asking me to tell you that as well. Um, and for me, they made me get violent too because I used to be a pushover and too nice. Saxon said, ha ha ha, yeah, I'm lucky, still here. Saxon said, ha ha, two months. So you see Mr. Saxon here has been in Thailand enjoying life for the last two months. So, you know, and as you see, magic is working out for Mr. Saxon too. Um, look at how, you know, it's vastly different experience that we have seen from Mr. OK and Mr. Dixon. And uh, yeah, and DJ Dixon here. And, and we should be fair too. Mr. Saxon had gone through his fair share of testing and of being tested and chaos and hardship too. Um, DJ Dixon said, I'm used to giving away all my gifts and talents to people. OK said, Paimon is an extremely intelligent entity. So have faith in whatever he's saying. That is very true, OK. That is very true. Brenda Sims from Singapore said, Thanks, Dion. That is very helpful. You're very welcome. Brenda Sims said, Okay, glad you found your deity. Yes. Um, Brenda, are you working with a deity right now? Feel free to share your experience. Um, DJ Dixon said, Like today, I'm supposed to look for work and study under a high priest here in New Orleans, but he doesn't want me to work with demons. But he has more knowledge on Hondu ritual side of things. Um, hey, you know, if a teacher were to show up in your life, you should always listen and see what they have to say. I mean, demons, deities, angels, then God forms, you know, they are just different words, you know. Um, the differences are a skin dip, should we say that. Um, you know, a lot of deities were angels and a lot of demons were angels. Um, they're all mixed up, you know. Some, some, uh, I won't say cults, some, I won't say sex, right? Some minor, some smaller group of religious people in the ancient world would say Gabriel, the archangel, was a thin, or Raziel was a fallen angel, which are like the two of the most blessed um, angels in the Bible, um, you know. So we can safely say that the distinction between all these class of spirits are really artificial, should we use that word? Um, oh, hi, Vivian. Glad to see you here on IG. Magic Boy in Hong Magic Boy Hong Kong said on IG, hello Dion, glad to be here. Glad to see you here, Magic Boy Hong Kong. 
So it says Vivian can DSDC send a request to be in your live video. So okay, I'm gonna say yes. I don't know what's gonna happen. Cersei Rain on IG joined. Hello, Cersei. Good to good to see you again. So I just accepted two requests. I don't know how it's gonna how that's gonna turn out. On IG. Okay, so back on. So uh, if you're just joining us on uh, IG, hello Simon Lau, how are you? So if you're just joining, hello uh, ISM Tiffy J, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Hello Charlie Lee, hi. Hello Under Green eight eight eight. All right, so let me just uh, catch. So if you are joining us on IG. Um, we are simultaneously live streaming on IG and YouTube. So if you hear me reading off a comment that you don't see on your screen, that means I'm reading it off on YouTube and vice versa, okay? So everybody are welcome to join in the discussion. Anybody is welcome to ask a question or make a comment or reply to anybody's comment or question, okay? We want to have a discussion going on and everybody are friends here. We want to encourage each other. We want to share our experience. Everybody are at different points in the path of magical, of black magic or other forms of uh, magical disciplines, like if you're a Hantu priest or if you are a witch, you're all welcome here. And, you know, we share our experiences in hopes that other people can learn from us and we learn from other people, okay? So, wow, so we have a lot to catch up on YouTube. All right. I... So going back on YouTube, let's, I hope I got... Uh, if I slightly missed your comments, please, I apologize. Okay, on YouTube said, I just work with large amount of demons, some underworld deities, horror type entities, overall dark entities, if we exclude some love demons. Perfect. Brenda Sims from Singapore said, hi, okay. Which deities are you planning to work with or you feel connected with? Dijor Dixon said, I just don't want to have to deal with somebody who wants to steal power from me. Like I would rather go back to square one and simply have nothing. Oh, don't worry about that. It's very hard to steal power from people. Oh. Well, maybe you can explain to us or expand on the idea what you mean by stealing power from you. I mean, it's easier to steal money from a person than power from a person. Um, okay, on YouTube said, Brenda, I feel connected with too many things and entities. However, I've worked with a horror entity that takes form of Jason Hornus, and I have been massive. Res I, had, I have seen massive results. He's basically making me more like him. Oh, perfect! I hope that is a good thing. Tell us more about uh, Jason Hornus. I hope I pronounced that right. Jason Hornus person. Uh, they drew a Dixon said, "Okay, you seem like a cool person. No cap. I would like to agree with uh, Detroit Dixon." Okay, sad. Okay, sad. Horror characters can take forms of entities. If there's an entity that has found a specific character, the human watch and want to have aspects like him. That's perfect. I totally agree with uh, Mr. Okay on YouTube. Branda Sim said, that must, be, that must feel nice. Fearness, roughness, and grounded. Right. 
Deidre Dixon said, "I love Pinhead." Okay, said, "There must be a Pinhead entity. I can try to find. If you want Deidre, Deidre Dixon said, 'Yes, I would love that. Perfect.'" Okay, said, "I've mastered the art of finding entities in general astral traveling. Perfect." Brenda Sim said, "I googled Pinhead. It scared me for a second.、Uh, I can see.、Uh, I can see why you would feel that way, Brenda." Saxon said, "Yeah, I'm enjoying. Yeah, I'm here enjoying with Lucifer. That's perfect. That's perfect. I see Lucifer has been taking good care of you, Saxon." The George Dixon said, "That box, I feel like is my heart, and my energy, and my mind, and everybody want to get in tune with it, not knowing what will happen." To them, without pure intention. The George Dixon said, "People either think I'm like a dark angel, or just pure Satan." LOL. Well, it's more like what energy you want to send out, right? Do you want to be seen as a dark angel, the George Dixon? Saxon said on YouTube, "I was reading what you were talking about, and yeah, I know about it all. These tests, and trust me, like OK and Dion said, the demons you work with always try to make you think and behave like them. That is true. And sometimes they will also tap into your energy, and they will kind of like behaving like you, but you may not even aware that." That is a part of you, right?、Uh, Saxon said, "Before doing anything in your life, I talked about it with Dion a while ago, and he called it rearranging your life." Yes, that is exactly what I said. So just keep trusting. It's easy to say you will never be a disappointing, disappointed believing. That that is very true. Okay, said only. Lower chaotic demons are the evil ones. Ah,、uh, yeah, I think that is true to an extent.、Um, I don't really see any spirits are are pure evil or pure good.、Um, they also they don't know our ways, right? So sometimes they think they do things that they think are good for us.、Uh, we don't understand, and then we got afraid, and then、uh, and then we say, "What the f is that?" Right. Um, so we kind of have to train our demons a little bit. We kind of have to train the spirits that are in our sphere. That way, they know、uh, what we like and our boundaries, right? You know. And so, so in a way, I agree with you that the lower chaotic demons, but what we also want to not, you know, cast some spirits away because of our prejudice, right? Saxon said. In them, especially that you are quite powerful as a magician. I feel like from what you said, try making spells for you to know where to look for opportunities, and be、uh, enough by enough to overcome. Yes, that's true. It's all. It's all about.、Um, Locating opportunities, right? Like I worked with Saxon before, and and I think like that's how me and my my closer group communicate. Just like look for opportunities and develop these opportunities and get into that vibration of the specific spirit that you're working with, and good things will come. Hello, Gunther Finn. How are you on YouTube? The George Dixon said, "I want to be seen as a person."、Um, I see some activities on IG. I'll get back to you soon, Cersei. I'm just reading off comments on YouTube right now. So the George Dixon said, "I want to be seen as a person." Who is all about turning a situation, a shitty situation, into a powerful one? Like I have so many talents and psychic gifts that I've developed through the rough ass time. That is very true. I can totally feel that energy from you. The George Dixon said, and I don't want to waste 
anytime being around people attempts to bring me down to the levels of consciousness, it gets me out of pocket. Uh, yep. That is very true. I agree with you. And I've, I can see that you're taking all the appropriate action on your part to achieve your end of goals. Okay, said. What vibes do you personally get from my past life? Um, what do you mean by vibe? I think in your past life, you are a determined person. You were probably a soldier that got, uh, that, that sacrificed his life in the battlefield. And, and in this life, you want to continue that courage and, and valor, right? And you're just trying to connect with that warrior energy again. Okay. Um, Gunther Flynn said, how do I deal with someone sending negativity towards me? Um, I think it is just I um, have something. First of all, don't 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 worry about what other people are doing. Um, that's them. If you just just they don't exist, right? Um, there are a lot of people that sends negative energy to everybody. And the more successful you are, the more negative energy you're going to receive from the people around you. And the saddest part is you're going to get negative energy from your enemies and you're going to get more negativities from your friends. So just don't even consider that as a thing. And also, I want you to just focus on maximizing your personal potential actualizing yourself and have a divine purpose right and 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 with that strong confident goal in mind no negativity could come to you or harm you anyway there are, there are a lot of things you can do like you know sending it back or creating a shield or transmuting those energy those are also those are good too but you are the more energy you give you give on fighting these energy this negativity towards you the more powerful it's going to get because whatever you give energy to, it's going to get multiplied and become bigger and stronger, right? Okay, said, as far as I know, they are all extreme in their own ways. That is true. Did your Dixon said, that's what I meant. Like, it's all mind, energetic things, like people will try to demean you if they can't interpret your love. That is true. Okay, said. Gunther Flynn simply builds protection, but work on your aura too. Work on being grounded because this is the way your energy will be. Too strong to be affected by negative energy and an aura that's not grounded. That is very true. Very well said, okay. Gunther Flynn said, he sent loads of negative energy towards me. I just want to destroy him. Um, okay. Um, Saxon said, yes, so much. He taught me two things recently. Haha. <laughs> Feel free to share with us, Saxon. Um, okay, said, in my latest past life, I was a boxer so far as I know. I used to be very tall, 6'6", six, six, and muscular, and have a very very deep red mixed intense black aura and I was really intense and overpowering but I was far more aggressive and tough compared to now is that the energy that you wanted back is that why um, um, you, you focus so much on being aggressive um, in in this lifetime Gunther Flynn said how do I send it back? Um, that is a good question. So what I want you to do instead of like, because the more you try to send it back, the more it's going to come to you, right? Um, so what you want to do is to take their energy and transmute 
into an energy that you can use in your life. And more importantly, do what I said before, right? Just ignore them. The more you mess with it, the stronger it's going to get. I would ask you to just focus on your purpose in life. If you haven't got one yet, I would like you to you know, spend some time, find yourself, and just pursue your full potential to the max, right? Um, that way, nobody could mess with you if you have this, what I call a divine purpose in life, right? Dejor Dixon said, you guys understand me like feel. We're family here, Dejor. We are your family away from your family. Uh, Saxon said, Gunfer, I would recommend you to learn about practicing protecting yourself by meditating and visualizing yourself surrounded by a sphere, maybe, that protects you against it. That is uh, good advice, Saxon. Okay, said, yeah, like don't you get that aggressive, overpowering vibe from my latest past life. Yes, yes, I kind of do. Like a warrior, like a soldier, right? Um, like somebody who trains other people to fight. Saxon said, I think fighting it by doing meditation can also make you stronger because you can do it by yourself. Otherwise, you can always contact and say so. I think he's the best about magic and energy and protection. That is perfect, mirroring. Yes, I would agree with you. Okay, said, and also that concept of the more you try to fight it back, the stronger it gets, is personally wrong from my view because I believe it depends on whether you manifest it on being overpowered or not. Okay, I can see where you're from, where you're coming from. I believe if you're powerful, grounded, and intense, you can fuck off any negative energy. Yes, I agree. Free will and fierce attack, as long as it is manifested to a positive way, will make it uh, okay. Hang on, I need to do something. Uh, will make it weak from the, my point of view. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think okay has a point here. Is to uh, just make yourself so strong and so powerful that that no power could like mess with you, right? And in in reality, um, people's negativity is just so minute that it's really not worth your attention. The more attention you give, uh, the more it's going to bother you. Right. Um, look at all the celebrities and professional athletes and people in high places. Right. You know, so much negativity are directed at them, but they just it just doesn't get to them or bother them. Right. It just bounces right off because they just don't give attention to small people who think negative thoughts. The George Dixon said, "I've learned how I energetically distract people." when I fast like I'm just a walking black hole and people forget their keys, wallets. I've made people walk in front of my moving car accident. Um, let's not go there, man. <laughs> Let, let's, uh, you know. Yeah, let's not go to that end. Okay, said, it's like a hot break. You either let it destroy you like overpower or you actually grow stronger and overpower it. It's like all about balance, if that makes sense, or dominance or personality. Yeah, that makes sense to me. The George Dixon said, like my car can barely move because people can't see my car. It's all black. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. It's just uh, just happened. Yeah, thanks for sharing, though. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's switch to IG for a little bit, as a Cersei King said, what's your opinion on pact? What's your opinion on pacts with infernos or deities? I have a lot of experience um, creating pacts for demons, deities, or angels. Um, 
in the long run, I think the people who made pacts and and work on the pact and work on that relationship with the spirits and do all the right things. By doing the right things means, you know, you actually do your parts um, on your end to physically, you know, do the things you need to do to manifest it. At the same time, giving offerings, giving gratitudes and working closely with that spirit. I think um, I've seen a lot of success stories. And, and it's not just one wish and then one result, that kind of one-on-one -on -one outcome. is I can see a lot of people that I work with who have packed find themselves in a much higher orbit of life than before, like a higher quality of life overall than they had before, you know. Um, is there any specific questions, Cersei, you have about um, packs with deities or demons or angels. You can have a pact with any spirits. I know in the old days, um, older, older days, pacts are really for demons or infernal beings. But uh, in my experience, um, a lot of spirits enjoy having a close human companion too with that pact. I think the first two or three packs that I have helped uh, my clients made are with Freyr and Viking entities. So, and those are very positive sp spirits, almost to a godlike level, right? So it doesn't have to be infernal spirits. Cersei on IQ said, is it best to check if they want to work with you first? Some spirits seem more receptive than others. Some may not want to work with you either. That is a good point. Um, so before working with a spirit, you may want to do a lot of research on it. Um, as you do, you may feel the calling of a certain other spirit calling at you. Um, but also think of it as like a job application or like applying to like a major elite school or something. It's uh, you have to make an effort to work with them. You have to impress up on them that you're worthy to work with them because they are, they don't need you, right? They, they like you, but they don't need you. So, uh-oh. All right, so we got bounced from IG. Okay, so we got bounced from IG. Let me get back on IG, okay. So I'm just uh, going back on IG. Uh, we got bounced from that stream, so I'm just trying to uh, go back live on IG again. All right. So we are back on IG. Unfortunately, we got bounced. So uh, hopefully we get more people back on the chat room. Okay, so let me see what's happening on YouTube right now. So on YouTube, so IG, we were just having this discussion on, on pacts with spirits. And that um, in the old days, we all thought that uh, only infernal spirits or demons were packed with humans, um, but observationally, uh, since I've become a since I've became a professional black magician, um, a lot of spirits that I talked to wanted to 
form packs with humans and angels want to have packs of humans and deities and goddesses or even deities and 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 pagans wants to make packs of humans so um so I guess I was talking. So let's see. Somebody's on. Hey, Cersei, you're back. So I have accepted something from Cersei. I don't know what it is. I hope that is good. So yeah. So we were talking about how some spirits may or may not want to work with you. I would just say just do a lot of research on. Okay. All right, hang on. All right. Sorry, so there was uh, some, I don't know what's happened in IG. That's fine, that's fine. That's all good, man. It's all good. So, so yeah, so I was just saying that I want, so if you want to know if a spirit wants to work with you first, if you have a strong inclination with that spirit, if you're thinking about that spirit, that means that spirit is also calling on to you. B, do a lot of research, do a lot of meditation before you call up on them to pact. Don't call up a pact out cold, right? And more importantly, have like a good uh, intention when you approach these spirits, right? A lot of these, a lot of people go to make a pact thinking that, you know, watching too many movies and they go to a pact and ask for all kinds of crazy things like I want to win the lottery like right here, right now, or... I want to grow a wing and fly or like like wishes that are that are basically intended to test the the spirit right you know if you do that if you you know first time you did it the few, first few times you did it they say you know okay you know you're just being a kid but then the more you do it the more annoyed they're going to become with you and then and then eventually they would just not answer you right so approach the pact with a sincere intention. Uh, you packed with the spirit because you love the spirit. And and all the other fringe benefit will come along. And and even after you make the pact, right? It's not like you sign the pact and that's it. You still have to spend a lot of time working with the spirit, spend a lot of time trying to get to know the frequency of the vibration, spend a lot of time looking for like I've said before, looking for clues that they're talking to you in real life and, and work and work and work. And then they're going to help you with an invisible hand, right? A lot of their intervention, you may not notice right away. Some of some coincidences, uh, some people you meet, but it may take a year or two down the line. And then looking back, you realize that, oh, after I made the pact, my life start changing to this direction, right? So I hope I answered your question so far, Cersei. Feel free to ask me any questions on either here on IG or YouTube, or you can, uh, you know, or you can like email me, um, that's fine. Hello, hi, Rito Key on IG, how are you? So if you're just joining us on IG, yeah, so we were on IG like an hour ago and then we were talking for about, for about an hour and then we got bounced because IG always do that to us. Like around an hour mark, if we go live for an hour, they will find some reason to kick us off the stream. So we are back um, and then we are on IG and we are also on YouTube. So if you're hearing me reading off a comments that you do not see on your screen on IG. That means I'm reading it off on YouTube and vice versa. So you're welcome to ask any questions. You're welcome to make any comment and you're welcome to reply to any comment that is out there. Just just uh, be honest and just say what you have in mind and then, uh, and, and then we're gonna learn from each other and you can learn from other people's experience and we can learn from your experience, right? So we are having a good friendly conversation right now. So let's see what's happening on YouTube. So on YouTube, so this may be a while ago, right? Okay, Sad, how connected do you feel personally? How connected do you personally feel like I am towards demons? I think you have a good sense of what you're doing. Uh, 
you are tuned into the frequency, but also feel that you've you are seeing a lot of room that you can work with, and that is a good thing. And the demons are saying that you know they like how you are you are so confident yet you're so humble before them. So okay also said before they all help me whatever I need and in general demons feel like family. That is perfect. That is their their uh, sentiments towards you. FG FG hello Dion hi FG FG how's uh how's your vacation going my friend okay on IG said on uh YouTube said I think many people nowadays do the mistake of doing what everybody does in spirituality. I believe people should get more creative and find new stuff like just like I did with horror entities. That's perfect. I think I think there I think you may have found like a specialty that are not that not a lot of other occultists are working on right now. So I think uh, your demon friends are, are leading you to to a path of discovery, Mr. OK. And OK here said, this way we grow more, because nowadays we all people focus on what other does instead of what finding, of finding what suits them. That's well said, Mr. OK. Saxon on YouTube said, so I don't know what Lucifer is preparing, but he made me see who I can really trust between all the people I used to trust 100%. And now I know I was blind and I thought I could count on all of them. That is well said, Saxon. And uh, these demon kings, especially Lucifer, they, they, they like to show us the truth. And the truth may or may not be pleasant to learn, but uh, they, they want you to learn the truth, right? Saxon said, but no, the second thing is that he taught me to be myself and things are hard and use my dark side to overcome the situation if the good side doesn't work because sometimes I'm too kind of thing. That's, uh, that's well said, Saxon, that's well said. I think a lot of people on this live stream and live stream before also said the same thing. You know, they are too much of a people pleaser and the demons want to set us straight. Brenda Sim said, anyone work with Satan? Um, yes, I do. Brenda, is there uh, a anything specific you want to you want to know about Satan? Saxon said, Dion does at Brenda. Yes, yes, I do. I know it's kind of scary. And uh, and I'm very lucky and privileged to have an audience with Satan. Um, okay, said, what do you think my patron demon? Moloch thinks of my progress and tell me if you mind these kind of questions. No, I don't mind these kind of questions. It may take me a moment to get in tune with their frequency. I'm personally the opposite of people's pleaser, too short tempered to be for BS. Hey, you know, you, uh, you have a future in black magic. Um, I mean, Moloch thinks you are exactly where you need to be. You still have a lot of room to grow. And he has seen you changed. I mean, Moloch had been with you for many lifetimes, right? And you're placed in this lifetime, in this situation, to explore the things that, you know, you may not have a chance from previous life. Uh, he wanted you to be more open-minded to more opportunities and and he is sending you more less he he's sending you more energy and more lessons to be learned and uh and yeah he said he said you're exactly where where you need to be and he's with you i hope that makes sense uh mr okay so let's see what's going on on ig hello creepy ccc11 how are you So we are both on YouTube and IG, and everybody are welcome to ask any questions and comment and reply to other people's questions or comments. 
to we we want to have a good discussion going on. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Um, okay, so I'm personally the opposite of people's pleaser to short temper for BS. Yeah, I don't beat people up anymore, unlike past lives. Yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, said so I was too violent and minus back then, and open minded part is correct. So the open mind part is correct. Yes, I think these spirits want us to have more life experiences. And they're also like enjoying our life experiences too, right? It's like uh, living through us vicariously. Is that what they, that what the saying goes? You know, it's kind of like watching a cat jumping around and take a nap in a box, right? You know, and by that analogy, I mean, we are the cat and the spirits are the human watching us, right? You know, like when you see a cat just sleeping or getting sunbathed by the window or looking outside, you know, you look at the cat and you wish you were the cat and experience what the cat is experiencing, right? So that is what the spirits are also wanting us to experience too. Or when you feed a cat like this fancy cat food, you know, you want to kind of experience what the cat is experiencing, right? So that's what the, uh, partly what the spirits are to us. They want us to experience more. Um, okay, said, so what do you think Barbados think of my progress? Basically the same you did with Moloch, but like you know Barbados instead. Okay, so I was kind of mad at him lately, but he always say he wants the best for me. Well, I think Barbados are making a lot of small arrangements in your life. Um, he just wished that, you know, well, he said he's making a lot of minor, a lot of small things that adds up to a big thing coming up. And he wished that you're more patient with him. Um, and when, you know, give it a year or two, looking back, you will see Barbados footprints all over your life. But it's just that at this moment, you don't see it at this moment. And you, it's hard for you to distinguish his footprints and all the other demons that you're working with right now. But he said he's with you. And be patient. Brenda Sim said, are you able to share what Satan helped you with? Um, that's a good question. I think he really helped me with astral senses. Um, so, you know, when I started, I spent a lot of time doing rituals nonstop every day, many, many hours. Um, I'm the kind of guy that, that push everything to the max. And, and when I started doing black magic, um, I basically do every rituals I can find. I make up rituals by myself. I do all kinds of divination and I learn about, about astral sense. And I was quite frustrated that uh, I wasn't able to hear, talk directly to demons. Like, like I was able to communicate with them, but not like directly. And then uh, one day Satan comes along and then he just start talking to me. And then after a while I was, I was like, oh wow, I'm actually talking to Satan. Not just any demons, but uh, you know the Satan himself. So, um, so he's been helping me with astral sense and helping me connect with other spirits. Um, he's very good in showing you the truth about everything. Um, it may not be he may not come out and just tell you what the truth is, but like he'll put you in a situation where you learn the truth. Um, sometimes the hard way, sometimes the easy way. Um, you know, he has been giving me a lot of business and money advice and relationship advice. And uh, one thing you you know, one thing you you uh, you know you know how when you say you talk to demons, everybody thinks you're crazy and you're hallucinating, right? Um, the way you know that you're actually talking to a spirit is a lot of what they said have like predictive power, right? Like, you know, 
actually the pact that is like a bestseller in my store. It was Satan's idea. Um, he asked me to put that pact out on on platform that you see right now. Um, and and that kind of turns the trajectory of my black magic life around. Um, he has been advising me all along on all the black magic rituals for me and my clients. Um, is that is that the kind of help that you were inquiring, or you want like um, specifically like a magic trick kind of help that you want to see? Um, I would say Satan really helped me a lot. Um, he's, you know, he's not a teddy bear. You know, he's, you know, you don't want to confuse him or be too friendly with him. Know who he is. Um, respect who he is. Um, he also told me to just be honest and truthful to him all the time. And he enjoys debating and arguing with me as long as I'm honest with him. Um, is there any specific questions, Brenda, you would like to ask about working with Satan? I know it must be like a very daunting thing um, when we talk about Satan. So, okay, on YouTube said, how do you think my energy is like at the moment? Because I've been working on improving and also like the vibration of it because it feels very fast and fierce in a way. Okay, let me catch my breath a little bit. All right, so let me read the questions again. I think your energy is good. I think you were, you know, like a few weeks ago, you know, it's kind of like a brownish red tint, like an earth reddish tint, maroon, dark maroon kind of tint. Um, I think you were much calmer than a few weeks ago than we first met. Um, maybe try to correlate your vibration with what's happening in real life. That way you can, you can see how each uh, shift in energy manifests and you can adjust it better. If it's, yes, that's true. You know, it feels very fast and fierce. Um, I think maybe it would help for you to just find a way to to physically manifest some of these energy, and that way you can like have a benchmark of where you are. Uh, if have you been talking to any new spirits since the first time we've met? Okay. All right. Let me pause and drink some hot. It's a demonic vibration from your point of view. What do you mean by demonic vibration? Is it like chaotic and destructive kind? Is that what you mean by demonic? I mean, you can be very destructive and chaotic and be angelic too, you know. Okay, so I think my energy is pretty demonic since my demons are sending me energy. That is true. How, how do you feel? Uh, do you feel there's a difference between horror story characters and, and demons like Barbados and Moloch? How do you feel the difference in vibration? Okay, so basically compared to the vibration that you see demons in general. I think they're in tune. I think Moloch is a special kind of very high level demon or god like a god form. 
so no, you know, Moloch has his own sort of frequency that is extra, that is like, I won't say extra chaotic, but like very powerful and chaotic. And you just need to, to write it properly, you know. Brenda Sims asks, which spirit shoots me? Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Brenda. That is a good question to ask. A lot of people ask me that question. Is there a spirit that you wish to work with? I mean, um, you know, so there's a reading I can do to look at your birthday and cast a birth chart and I can recommend specific spirits or I can like see uh, what your career aspirations are right now or yeah, so so what either tell either share with us what you do for work right now or what you wish to do as your dream career, and then maybe I can uh, recommend a spirit that you can read about, and then you know start meditating with like a spirit and see if you're right fit. Sometimes if you start working with a spirit, and that spirit is going to refer you to other spirits that you can learn from. So that happens quite a lot and observationally true to myself and a lot of other people. So Saxon said, oh, me too. What do you think Lucifer and Astro think of me and my progress? Saxon said, Astro is the first demon I work with. I think she's the one who made me bold enough to connect Lucifer cause she's a demon that connects you with the right persons especially from high hierarchy. That is very true. Hey, in the for the longest time, Astaroth was more popular, if not as popular as Lucifer, right? In Grimorium, Verum, Astaroth, Lucifer, and uh, Beelzebub are the three princes of hell. So Astaroth is a very powerful and high-ranking spirit. So I guess the same, I guess she did the same with the demonic ram. That is true. So let me roll back a little bit. So what do you think Lucifer and Astaroth think of me and my progress? So I think Astaroth is helping you with your creativity and your artistic life. And, and you know, I can, I'm sure you can see that you are making progress in that department right now. And, and Lucifer is trying and they clean you up from, from all the attachments you had from before. He's trying to make you stronger. I think he's just showing you what, what it's like to get what you want. You know, maybe before, you know, your vision of success is not really real. I don't mean to say it in a derogatory way. I mean, we all have that from time to time. Um, I think Lucifer is trying to show you a what it's like to be successful and b what it takes to be successful. And so far, you know, he's happy that you are taking his advice, right? And 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 that's you know, there's always more room for improvement, but uh, I think they think you are taking the advice well. Okay, let's check IG. I think we see some movement here. Hey, devotee of Michael, how are you? Let me wave at you on IG. Hey, devotee of Michael, what's going on? What's going on with you, my friend? Um, so we are both simultaneously broadcasting or live casting, live streaming on YouTube and on IG. So uh, if you hear me reading off comments that you don't see on the screen, that means I'm reading it off uh, IG. So you're welcome to ask any questions and say anything, make any comments. And you're also welcome to answer the questions from other people and make comments to other people's comments. And we are just getting a good discussion going on. Like I said, we are all at different points in our spiritual evolution. Um, some of us may be further ahead and some of us may be a completely different journey, a path that we took, but that is fine. Uh, we're just all sharing our experiences so we can learn from each other. So go back to YouTube right now.
So Brenda from Singapore said, I mean, real estate industry, messaging, managing real estate as a, oh, wow, rich lady. You are in a, in a good place now. Singapore and real estate, a lot of money is flowing into Singapore right now. And you're at the right place at the right time to take advantage of real estate. So do you want to be more of a real estate? Are you an agent, Brenda? So would you would you want to keep amassing uh, properties and wealth? Is that your goal? Or uh, I won't say or right or 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 that's the only preposition I can come up with right now. And or do you have interest in architecture and like housing and things like that? Um, I could so I would recommend Brenda. Uh, if you're in real estate industry, uh, looking into Archangel ZQ, Z Z A D K I E L ZQ, um, or Goetic Demon Batan, um, they are very good in housing and real estate area. Or if there's a specific area in your life that you wish to improve. So it's easy to just, if you don't know any, if you haven't done a ritual or don't know how to do a ritual, you can just set up an altar um, with the name of the spirit, or if you know the situal or a reading of them. So make a small area in your room or in your apartment. I know it's hard in Singapore, Condos are, living spaces are really, really small. But like set up a small area in your room or apartment dedicated for that spirit. Um, and then put some offerings on it. Offerings could be like some food or, you know, some wine or drinks. Wine is better or like strong liquor is better, I found, especially in Singapore because, uh, a lot of liquids can mold easily. And the good thing about alcohol is that a mold doesn't form in alcohol. So you can like leave it in the open for a little bit longer. And you put some offerings on it, something valuable on the altar. And then you spend a lot of time by the altar and you talk to that spirit often. Uh, and you meditate with that spirit, right? So that's like step one, uh, kind of like doing push ups to get your strength up. So that's like basic one-on-one -on -one working with demons and then after a few months you will see some improvement in your real estate career and then just take it step by step so okay on youtube ask what kind of mindset do you think suits me the best it's known i have been working on having a more intense mindset however I'm curious your view on it. Well, I think you are very intense um, since the moment I met you. Well, how do you see yourself different, being even more intense than you are right now? Moloch well, said you need to chill. <laughs> He said you are intense enough, right? He said you don't need to be more intense. As Saxon said, anyway, I feel extremely drawn to them. Ashroff helped me in the beginning of my black magic era with demons. I started with Odin years ago, and I was a beginner, and I made a lot of mistakes. So going back to OK for just a bit. so. I don't think they're trying to put cold water on you, but they want you to just take a step back and reassess um, your your mentality right now. Uh, and then take, take a step back and look at yourself from a distance, uh, get yourself together and then go back to that intense mindset. I think that's what Moloch is, is trying to tell me to tell you. Um, Saxon said, anyways, I feel extremely drawn to them. 
Ashroth helped me in the beginning of my black magic era. With demons, I started with Odon years ago since I was a beginner and made a lot of mistakes. Hey, me too, man. Thanks for sharing and uh, thanks for admitting. And thanks for being humble. And uh, me too, man. I made so much mistake in the past. And, you know, and, and it's not like, well, it's more like mistake of stability. And if, if had I not made those mistakes, I would have been building here many times over. So Saxon said, inclusion, inviting shadow spirits around me. Some was just traumatizing me and stopping me from sleeping. LOL, when I started not being scared of them anymore, I woke up two times different night. That's true. Like, I mean, like I keep saying that, um, I'm, and I mean, you can believe whatever you want. You can have whatever world will you want. That's perfect. Um, but I also don't, don't really see spirits as really like evil and traumatizing. Um, they may come on a little bit strong. They may not know your language. They may be a little bit too truthful, you know, keeping in mind that spirits are not humans. They're not even from this world. So, you know, so they don't know our ways. Um, maybe that's why some spirits are being seen in the negative light, right? So you kind of want to take some time to transmute them, pull them inside your body and push them out pull them inside your body and push them out so that they they learn your ways more and then and then you'll find that they're not so horrifying after all so Brenda Sim said managing for owners not my property not an agent just managing it for the owners I can go look them up so so I don't know if you're if you have a lot of aspiration in real estate uh, as an agent or as a business or owner. So uh, so that's the two spirit I would start with. Uh, if you have other aspirations, you can share here or send me a PM or DM. Um, I was recommend a spirit to, for you to start. But I think archangels are always good, good to start. An archangel will hook you up with other spirits. Like they're the CPU of your... Uh, They have the CPU of your of your astral plane, right? So they're going to help you manage your astral energy. Um, they're going to invite other spirits into your realm. They're going to give directions to all the other spirits. And uh, and as long as you have a well, we, I don't know. Did I have that conversation with you before with a patron? So if you set up a, an archangel in this case at Q as your as your patron. Um, He's going to manage your space for you until you're ready to work with other spirits independently, if you if that is your aspirations. Okay, said L L she said I need to chill. Yeah, she she just kind of said that. He just said he just kind of said that to me. Because you're just pushing and pushing and pushing and then uh he kind of lost you. He said it is possible that you know he wants you to just take stock of what you are pushing and take a step back and and manage what you've gained. Monarch knows everything, man. So there's this girl, let's call her Mao, and she's in my aura 24 7. She's a girl I've cut ties with because she was quite childish, however, she cared and loved me about a lot, I had unedited her. However, I think I have been told she wants to add me, like get in contact, but I'm scared to do so because I'm too intense and aggressive with her before cutting ties. Do you, do you need to be intense and aggressive in everything? I mean, you know, Sometimes you need to be intense and aggressive, you know. Maybe maybe that's what Moloch is trying to tell you, right? Just, you know, 
control your intensity and aggression, like manage it, right? Um, it's like martial arts, right? Martial arts is not about, when you see the word martial arts, um, it is not just about power, it's about discipline, right? I think that's maybe that's the right word for it, you know? Like disciplines your aggression, aggression or disciplines your intensity, right? You know, if I want to bake a cake and I'm not good at baking, but like the temperature in the oven should be 300 degrees, right? But you know, you're intense and aggressive. You you push it all the way to like 900 degree, and then the cake doesn't taste good anymore. You know, you just want the right amount. I think Morlock is wanting you to learn to use the right amount of intensity, and the right amount of, of aggression. You know, maybe these are the lessons that he's been trying to send you. You know, um, okay, said. I want your thoughts on it. I was told that she got depressed because of it too. So I want your thoughts, like, do you get that depressing, like, really weak aura grave vibe from her? I think she's been feeling better. I think her aura is turning kind of green. I think she's ready to recover. She was depressed for a long time, and, and I think she is, I can tell her aura is also shifting. She missed you a lot. And I think she was also looking for closure um, in that relationship, right? Like I never got an answer from you. Um, you know, from her perspective, she she doesn't see what you're seeing, right? So she is looking for more of a closure. Saxon said, oh, I see very well for sure what you mean about how they're helping you, me. For sure, I've, I'm sure they're also sending you a lot of good energy and they're sending you a lot of good messages right now. I mean, hey, look at your life right now, right? Can't get any better, you know? I think they are, they are taking good care of you Look by looking around you. Okay, said, do you get the vibe that she wants to get in contact again, but is kind of preparing for it? I think she missed you. I think if you get in, back in touch with her, she would appreciate it. I think she wants to have a long talk with you. I think she wants to see it from your perspective because like, she felt like she has been talking to a wall. Um, and I think, okay, you are, it will help you to get some closure on that too, you know? I think your, your pursuit for, for power may have, you know, lifted you a bit too high up that you lost your grounding. And I think you know, talking to this girl would help ground you as a human being once again. And and it will help you to become more powerful in a way that you can exercise more control on your power. Okay, it's saying that I feel like she still loves me a lot, but it's like she's trying to get that confidence to talk to me. Yeah, I mean... I mean, she's just not sure if you want to talk to him, to her. And, and you know, anybody in her situation will feel that way, you know. People doesn't always do what's in the best interest for them. And they don't always do how, they don't always behave how we expect them to behave, right? Okay, so yeah, it's like she thinks I'll curse her. Sorry, um, this work, I will curse at her, do you think? But I hope you learn to be more of a gentleman since the last time you talked to her. I hope you won't do that. Um, 
it's not the cursing that gets to her anyways, you know. She can take it. She's a big girl. But it's more like this emotional wall that she's feeling from you. And this also this emotional bubble that you won't allow yourself to reach out to her, you know. It's as much of an emotional wall for her as it was for you. I mean, is it hard for me or it's hard for you or her to just snap a finger and, and make that go away so it's going to take time? Um, the saying is that when you meet your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, you, you are not chasing your loss or last relationship. You are trying to uh, fall in love with each other all over again or yeah, something like that. Um, so learn to, um, how should I say this? Like meet her as if you are going out on a first date again, you know. Get to know her all over again. That, I guess that's the best answer or best way to put it. Okay, Seth, you think I was too harsh with her personally? I think I think you know the answer to that, right? Okay, Seth, I feel like Moloch is telling me that I shouldn't treat her like a bad girl and that she's pretty sensitive and like she has eyes only for me. I think that is true. I think Moloch has said, uh, Got it right on. Yeah. So I think you know what to do. You are just reaching out so that, you know, Moloch would agree with you, right? And he's pretty much telling you what you already know. Um, it is up to you to take whatever action. And and I, Dion, is not here to judge you. Moloch is not here to judge you. And it is your personal happiness at stake. So it's really up to you. Like what you feel, you know. Well, I mean, I've been telling you, right? Like I like there's no way for me to know all the details of the relationship between two people, especially um in this situation. But the it is clear that she wants to talk to you. She felt frustrated that you are emotionally closed and the same wall that is blocking her from having an emotional connection with you is the same wall that blocks you from having emotional connection for her and other girls that you may or may not meet in the future, you know. Okay, let me take a drink of hot coffee. Well, she's in your aura because you let her in. You never really kick her out. She has always been there. You just, you're just emotionally block off, right? Like she's there, but your focus is not on that, right? So, okay, so that's true. Do you see her in my aura trying to hug me at the moment? Because she have taught her a way to hug me, etc. And she does something. And she does it sometimes. That's perfect. Like I said, you know, you, you know exactly what to do. You know what I said was true because, you know, you are just vibing that energy right now. And, you know, you may also want to overcome some of your baggages too, you know. It 
it is not going to, you may have to put down your ego a bit too, if you want this to work. And you, and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying that that's, you know, a strategy uh, to succeed for in this situation, you know. You may want to lay down your aggression a little bit and be a gentleman. Watch a James Bond movie, you know. Watch what Sean Connery do. Wear a tuxedo, you know. Act like a gentleman. Open yourself up, and and you know, and I can tell you may have hurt, got hurt a little bit, and if you open yourself up, you could keep getting hurt too, in the long run, but. That's what love is. That's what relationship is all about, right? And and if you don't want to get hurt, you know that's that's your prerogative too. But that's kind of what you get into when you allow another person in your life. Okay, said. How do you see? How do you think she sees me as a person, though? I think she likes you. She wants to be closer to you. Um, at the same time, you know, it is the clock is also ticking for her. I think for ladies, the clocks are ticking faster than men. You know, she has to make her decisions, her decisions that are best for her too, so. So in any case, I've been talking for an hour and 46 minutes, and I'm actually having a, uh, actually work all night last night, and I'm kind of tired right now. So I think we should uh, head off this live stream in about two minutes if we don't have anything more from IG. Okay, Sad, I think she sees me as very dominant. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I think I think you do come off that way a little bit. As in like it is dominant in a way that is very distant, you know, emotional distance, like, like you are not uh, showing her your real self and she wants to get to know the real you, right? I mean, this shouldn't come as a surprise too, right? Everything I said to you, you have already thought about it before. So you think she only has eyes for me? Well, hard to say. And I should leave my doubts away. You should definitely leave your doubts away. And keep in mind, you know, it's a competitive world, right? If you if you are not fast, you know she has other options too. You know, so don't think she's gonna sit around and wait for you forever. You know, like you know, you have to act. You have to, you know, learn to learn to be good at relationship, right? And then act fast. You lose, you lose. As far as I was told by Moloch. Yes, that's true. This girl has eyes. Yeah, she has eyes for you. Only eyes for you? I don't know about that. I mean, it's not just this girl specifically. Everybody have options. You are a very top option for her, but you're not available, right? You're not emotionally available to her. So what's she gonna do?
Chef needs too, you know. All right, so uh, OK said, that sounded so satisfying. L M uh, L M A O. OK said, when you said she has eyes for me. No, that means she likes you. I think I should be less egotistical and mental. Yes, yes, that's what I have been saying for the last 15 minutes. And actually get in her shoes. Yes, yes. You're seeing the light, my friend. And that goes not just for this situation and this lesson should be breathed into more of how you approach people and relationships. Let's show more love and realize that she has suffered a lot and needs like protection and a man. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say, exactly what Moloch is trying to tell you. That's good, that's good. You're open-minded, you see? You could have been more aggressive, but you know you are able to, for at least for now, lay down your ego and have this discussion, right? So you're capable of this, of being this person, right? So just take this energy and ride with it, right? You know, you should use aggression as a part of a broader strategy, not just keep pushing more power, 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 power. You know. Is Moloch talking to you at the moment about it? He's he's sending messages. He's sending energy to me, and then translating that back to you. And you know, whomever is listening to this live stream right now, or would be listening to this live stream in the future, what I've been telling you, what kind of messages, the kind of messages I've been telling you. But in any case, I'm just uh, very tired right now. And I've been on air for an hour and 52 minutes. We had had very good discussions. Um, we had people from all over the world in this live stream, from the US all the way around the world to Asia. And I think we did well today. And uh, thanks for sharing. And thank you for sharing your story. Okay, we appreciate that. Okay, so that's fine. I was just afraid if I add her, she'll get a ego boost, but I think I'm wrong, no problem. Well, like I said, you know, with these kind of relationship things, you are kind of opening up yourself for the possibility of getting hurt. You know, be a man, you know? That's how it goes. If you don't want to get hurt, then don't, if you don't want the possibility of get hurt, if you don't want to open yourself up, fine. But that's, you know, then, then you know, you are better off alone. If, but, you know, just, just know what the decision that you're making here, you know. Don't send a contradictory energy to the universe. What's an advice you have before leaving, like a last Moloch message? What I've been trying to tell you, right, you know. Well, first of all, Lay down your ego. Take some time to study um, what it means to communicate in a relationship. You may not, or we may not, always have the skill to to do these relationship things, right? But like there are enough books written on how to start a conversation. Uh, exact phrases you can use that could that is non bias. I want you to be more of a listener to what she has to say, allow yourself to be loved, allow her in your life more, you know? I hope that helps, right? Take it one day at a time. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. But then if you work on these small things, it's going to add up to a lot a bunch bigger things down the road. And then a month or two from now on, or maybe take three months looking back to 
what where you are at today, you find that your life, your quality of life, have improved a lot since then. All right. Well, um, okay. Thanks for being here. Um, hopefully, I'll be back next week. But I really have like a really busy schedule next weekend, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to host a live stream next week. But hopefully, um, I try to keep a regular live stream going on, so everybody can come in and share their story and enjoy the company of other occultists. Um, thank you so much. Oh, hello, Mary, Mary Sanders. Uh, hey, we're just. Um, where are you from? We were just about to lock off, but uh, we would like to hear your story. Texas, that's nice, man. Nice and warm. Which part of Texas, may I ask? Eden, bro. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I don't know where that is. <laughs> is it? Is it closer? Is it where? Is it? Uh, which city is it close to? That way I can like have a good idea in my head. Okay, Sad. If you need an energy boost, tell me, man. Of course, my friend. Of course. No, she says she's in uh in uh in Texas. Hey, that's a that's a York in uh, England too, and we have New York in the U.S. So Mary Sanders has so parade Island. Oh, nice, nice. Ah, uh, such nice places. Is it nice and warm down there? You know, I'm in Boston and I'm freezing my butt up here. So were you with us all this time, Mary? So did you just join the stream right now? Oh, wow, 93 today. Oh, so nice, man. So nice. I wish I'm there. I Are you, is it close to the ocean where you live? Oh, just joined. Well, this stream will be uh, left on YouTube, so you can go back and listen to all the colorful discussion we had from before. Are you working with any spirits right now? The Gulf of Mexico. Oh, perfect. Good seafood of where you are. Off topic, but I think my heart chakra is being healed. Feel intense there. Maybe Moloch, okay, maybe maybe Moloch put you here in this room today. So, you know, he can talk to you and, and feel you out and, and give you a chance to heal, you know. Gulf of Mexico, yes, nice, nice seafood. The golf streams, I've been told, in Texas are amazing. Well, which spirits are you working with right now, Mary Sanders? Okay, he's saying, I think the same too. I do get his wipe in my heart chakra. Well, we over very overpowering, yes. That's Moloch for you. And I'm sure you are very familiar with Moloch's energy. <laughs> hey, Murthy. That's perfect. How do you like working with Santa Murthy?
because demonic energy are very intense. Yes, I totally agree. His specifically, yes. I totally agree. Mary Sanders said, I feel spirits, but I don't have names. Santa Murte is incredible to work with. Oh, I totally agree with you. I've worked with her a few times. Um, some of my clients have asked to work with Santa Murte, and she has always been delivering miracles to myself and my clients. So good choice right there. Mary Sanders said, she had been with me since I've been a child. Wow. Tell us a story about how Santa Murte have helped you. Okay, said, have you been sent demonic energy ever? I might have. I mean, I've just been working with, you know, demons, angels, or whatnot. So I guess I've been receiving a lot of demonic energies since I started. OK said, it usually feels intense and burns body. It can hurt the body a bit too. Oh, yes. You weren't, I don't know if you were here last week, OK? I, I shared a story about uh, Lucifer accidentally burns my face uh, when I was starting uh, um, my occult store, and I was I had this listing called ask a spirit a question or ask a demon a question and and to do that reading I would evoke a spirit really fast and there were a few times where I evoke Lucifer really fast and it came really fast and I could just feel a wave of heat on my face and then later on when I go take a shower I realized that you know part of behind my ear and behind my jaw had like burned uh, scars. Like, you know how you get burned a little bit and then there's this, like, water puff underneath your skin, you know? And I was like, how did I burn the back of my ears, right? That's just, like, insane. And then and then I realized that was Lucifer. And then Lucifer came and then he apologized. He said he came too fast because he didn't have a chance to power down, you know? So, so you know... Demonic burn actually can happen, and uh, and just be careful when you get like too friendly, and you know sometimes people lost their respect, or or you know or get too close with the demons, or or you know do something stupid, and and you know they can really hurt you. Okay, said so it feels intense and burns my body, but it can hurts the body to a bit too. Okay, so can you can make you irritated or chaotic, but I'm sure it depends on the demon. That's true. Okay, so repeat what you said because I lost connection. So I was just saying that um, there was this time Lucifer accidentally burned my face because I uh, there was a I was doing a reading for my client and for this reading to work uh, i have to evoke the spirit really fast and uh that time that time uh what was i thinking oh yeah so i have to evoke him really fast and that time lucifer came and then he forgot the power down and I feel this wave of heat on my face. And then later I go take a shower. I found that uh, I have burn marks 
on my ear and the back of my neck and the back of my jaw. And then that's when I realized that, uh, you know how you got burned and then this it kind of sting and then this water puff underneath your skin. And then when I took a shower, you know, that bursted and then, you know, it stings a lot. You know, it doesn't hurt in a long time, but it hurts like a, a day or two, you know. And then Lucifer came and then he apologized. He said he came a bit too fast. But, uh, you know, I also learned that, you know, how much power or sheer energy level that these spirits can have, you know. And okay, so yeah, demons and the energy can be scary. One thing that I have, and I don't know if it's common, but I have a really big aura, and as a result, I can be possessed by deities or spirits, and like even spirits enter inside my body, I don't lose consciousness. Yeah, it's good for you. Okay, so I once had 100 spirits inside me, and they all drowned because my energy is like burning fire inside my body, so it drowns them. Yes, I can see that. What do you see though? Well, what I've been seeing all along, my friend. But in any case, I think I really need to get going. Um, the We are live for two hours and six minutes, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I know there are people on Twitch or even on YouTube that are live for the whole day. So, you know, I've been gaining more and more respect for them since I, since I started doing this. Um, Yes, I can I can totally see that fire inside your chest and the energy okay. And so I think I've been up all night and I was like doing rituals, so I'm pretty tired right now. So I'm going to lock off. So thank you everybody for joining. We have a good discussion today. We have a lot of different perspective and a lot of personal experience being shared. And yeah. So hopefully. I can be back next week, but I have a pretty tight schedule next weekend. Uh, but I definitely hope to keep this a regular thing going on so that more people could come in and share the experience. Uh, okay, said so that's fine. Demonic blessings. And Molok said, thank you for guiding me, by the way. Thank you for being here, my friend. And we will end on this note. All right, good night, people. Have a good weekend. <laughs>